Welcome Aquarius to your June reading. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this month. I'm going to start off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming in for you for this month. And then I will go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Now Aquarius, there are going to be quite a few messages coming through. If there is any particular message that comes through that doesn't resonate, you can just let it go by. However, if the reading as a whole doesn't resonate, it probably just means it's not meant to be your reading at this time and you can go ahead and watch your moon rising and Venus signs readings as they could have more relevant and more applicable insights and information. The first energy you're getting, Aquarius, is psychic abilities. Now, when we see psychic abilities, it really lets me know that your third eye is going to be completely open and activated this month, which means, Aquarius, that you can trust your gut feelings, your hunches, your premonitions, your dreams. These energies are working with you. And this is going to be interesting to see in what area this comes up. Then you've got a lovely energy coming through with number 34, passion. And passion reminds us that beneath every intense emotion lies the hidden gem of insight, balance and calm. What a wonderful energy. So we're going to see what that is all about. Then you have the card, they will be there. What a comforting energy because somehow, somewhere, whatever is going on this month, you're being told that there are going to be people who are there for you, supporting you, loving you and nurturing you. And finally, you've got the energy of closure. I love this card, Aquarius, because it is really the energy of closing a door and walking down a new path. Now, Aquarius, with our core messages, there are times that they can relate to very individual and specific areas of your life. There are times they can be interlinked. And then there are times we can even get one cohesive message. It just depends on how the reading plays out. Sorry about the change in lighting, Aquarius. The sun keeps going behind a cloud and then coming back out again. I'm going to start off now by pulling a tarot card for each of the core messages. And then we will come back around again and clarify even further to get deeper insight and messages. So let's see what we have here for Aquarius, please. Right, we've got the Three of Wands, the Nine of Cups, the Sun card, and the Three of Pentacles. So we're going to start off here with the Three of Wands energy, and I'm just going to go ahead now and get your clarifier. So we just want to see what this Three of Wands energy is for Aquarius, please. Oh, there it is. Two of Wands. Wow. Look at this progression here. Okay. So you've got Two of Wands and Three of Wands. Aquarius, this energy for me is the energy of something you have been planning, thinking about, really wanting to get going for a long time. And I think this has been a big build up. This is not just an overnight energy. It's the energy of you really going deep, analyzing, how am I going to do it? When am I going to do it? Trying to dot all the I's, cross all the T's, not wanting to leave anything to chance. Three of Wands tells me in June, you are ready. Whatever this is, Aquarius, it could be in any area of your life. It's the area where you've been doing 
the real deep dive in terms of planning, strategizing and thinking. Now, here comes June and you are ready. Can you see she's got her surfboard in her hand and the three wands are lit up. You've never been more ready to get out there now and catch your perfect wave. It is sitting under psychic abilities because in June Aquarius, you're going to get such a strong sign in terms of your third eye intuition. Now remember, we all feel our intuition in different ways. Take it how you feel your intuition, right? For some of us, we get a feeling in our stomach. For some of us, we get pins and needles. You know, everybody is different. In June, you will get a very big sign from your intuition that says, now, go, get that wave, catch it. This is the perfect time. You're ready. You have prepared. Now, go. This is wonderful, my dear Aquarius, because it's the energy of getting out there and making your dreams happen, making your plans happen. This is no longer the energy of waiting and thinking. That is now over. This is the energy of participating in the flow that is coming towards you. I love to see this for you because I do see you making great strides forward in whatever area this is for you. Right, let's move on now and see what this Nine of Cups energy is that is sitting under passion. Right, let's see now. What is this Nine of Cups energy for? Aquarius, please. And, oh, got two cards coming out. I'm going to take them both, Aquarius. We have got Judgment and the Knight of Wands. So I'm just going to push up the sun for now. And we are going to look at this energy over here. Okay. Aquarius, I actually feel that this is quite a big month for you. And I think that it's very possible that this energy and this energy are connected. I do feel that you are going to get going in whatever this energy is. And we saw that with our three of wands. Because it's sitting under passion, I do feel whatever is happening is very deeply connected to who you are. And we see that with our judgment card and with our Knight of Wands. This energy that's playing out, I feel you are very, very passionate about. Now remember, passion is an intense emotion, right? It is a, it doesn't have to be just passion in love. You can be passionate about your family, your spirituality, about where you live, right? Everybody is passionate about different things. This energy is one of your passions. It's something that invokes very intense emotion in you. And it speaks to something that is like a deep calling within you. It has the energy now of coming about and bringing in the Nine of Cups energy. And Aquarius, Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment. So we can see now why you are so passionate about it. It's something you've been wishing for, praying for, and I feel this has been going on for a considerable amount of time. The Knight of Wands energy is another confirmation with regards to this inner flame. You see this flame, the same color as the Passion card, something deep within you. We have the flame, the flame and the passion all bringing this energy together. This kind of joy, this kind of joy is what you are going to be seeing happening as this plays out. Now, please remember, this is specific to you. If this involves your Career, money, and finance, wonderful. But it can involve your partner. It can involve your family. It can involve your home, moving, relocating, you name it. There is like a deep connection to your sense of self, your sense of seeing yourself grow, seeing yourself develop. 
I believe it is going to bring in this kind of joy, this kind of energy of wanting to leap when this energy comes into play. This is such positive energy, my dear Aquarius. And what I like to see most of all, it is such a deep felt energy for you. So whatever this is for you, this is going to be so good and you're going to really ride that wave, I think, for a long, long time. Wow, love to see this. Let's move on now and see this energy. They will be there and we have the sun card. So we now want to clarify the sun for Aquarius, please. Let's see now, what is this sun energy for Aquarius? And you have the emperor. Aquarius, what we are seeing here is another huge confirmation with regards to what is transpiring with our sun energy. The sun is the most positive, uplifting and inspired card of the deck. It's the energy of just opening yourself up and receiving the abundance and the good that the universe is now giving you. You are coming through this month as the emperor. It doesn't matter if you are masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the card we are speaking about. Can you see how our emperor sits on what looks like the globe, holding the winning chess piece in his hand? You, my dear Aquarius, are going to feel that all your strategy, all your thinking, all your planning, right? This is our chess piece, has brought you to the position of feeling like the king of kings, the winner. The ram's horn are depicting to me your undeterring strength. You just manage this. There might have been days where you had off days because you are just a human. And you might have felt like, oh my gosh, it's not going to happen. But what I see here is this undeterring getting up and you keep going and you keep going and you keep going. And now it pays off. The beautiful message it is sitting under is they will be there. Now, Aquarius, whoever you regard as your loved ones, right? It could be family, friends, whoever it is for you. The people who have your back, who support you, who are going to admire you this month for accomplishing what you're doing here. I want you to know they're going to be there. They're going to be there celebrating with you, acknowledging your accomplishment, acknowledging what you have been through and how you have brought this about you're going to get an incredible amount of support. I really believe, my dear Aquarius, if you have one person in your corner, one person who supports you, you're doing well and you're being told they. So I feel that there is more than one person here for you that is going to be with you, supporting you, cheerleading you on. And I feel a lot of admiration is coming your way because you are seen as an emperor. Amazing. Now let's move on and see what our three of pentacles energy is that is sitting under closure. Right, let's see now. What is this closure energy for Aquarius, please? What is this closure energy? The tower. Okay. Aquarius, I feel for a lot of you, this is really one cohesive story. This closure, this closing a door, I feel is when you begin this new energy, when you get out there and catch your wave, start something new. It's about closing a door and walking down a new road. And it's really the road that is filled with this energy of passion, wish fulfillment, honoring yourself and honoring your inner flame. They will be there is referring to this group of people that you have with you. 
This could be that this group of people, be it your colleagues, your family, your friends, are moving with you down this new road. The very interesting energy we get is the tower. Now, traditionally, the tower in the tarot speaks to us of something happening with the element of shock, surprise, right? And sometimes we can feel incredibly overwhelmed by the energy. However, in this deck, the tarot card is the lightning striking a bark. And out of the bark, we see butterflies, which lets me know that there is this incredible energy that is sudden and is dramatic. But the butterflies let me know it's a transformative energy. There is this element of suddenness. And this could be because it happens quite quickly, but it's going to be in your best and highest good. And that is why the butterflies are coming out. So please, my dear Aquarius, this month, watch out for the butterflies. It's your sign. There is something incredibly positive happening as you close a door and walk down a new path. You are going to be building, establishing something new with this group of people in a new area. This looks like it's going to be such an epic month for you. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful month and I'm sending you all so much love.